So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. So would you like to introduce yourselves? Sure. So I'm Sankarshana. I'm a fourth year student currently in Amrita University, Coimbatore, and I'm currently an intern at Hashtin. Okay. So, Deloitte. so tell us about your interview experience at Hashtin, like the type of rounds, difficulty, everything in details. Okay. Sure. So uh, it begins with the coding round, and uh, the coding round. Uh, I would say the questions by themselves were actually quite easy. but although the focus was on your coding style hmm. uh, so you need to use the best coding practices um, which includes like commenting using uh, proper usernames and um, like uh, using like uh, how do i say making it more scalable like um, yeah. yeah so you need to do all that so um, so i would say the the questions by themselves were not that difficult you can uh, like not even competitive programming level Yeah. So if you have like a bit of a coding background, you can definitely do them. So this was uh, the coding round, and then after that, uh, there are two technical rounds, interview technical interview rounds, and one HR round. Okay. So the first uh, technical round was more focused, uh, at least to me, it was more focused towards CS fundamentals. Mm -hmm. So um, in CS fundamentals, the the main aspects you need to focus is uh, DBMS, especially the asset properties, and then basic network related questions. and then from operating systems okay and um, and yeah from and and then from whatever was written on your uh, resume so for me it was java and spring boot as well as react like i had mentioned that on my resume so mm -hmm. the questions from that and after that you'll also have uh, some coding questions but that was totally easy like it was a tree based question that i got which uh, involved just uh, plain dfs and pfs hmm. so it was so it's yeah so it's not that uh, difficult but of course you need to be like energetic and uh, really interactive that uh, i'm sure like even inside hashton the culture is like a very open culture so at every point throughout the interview they'll make sure you are a culture fit hmm. uh, person to the to the organization so yeah so you need to be like really interactive and uh, you know really open and really you know you need to communicate like you need to communicate your points really well So and then the second uh, second interview round was uh, more uh, focused towards uh, the coding. So uh, to that end, uh, the coding questions was a bit more challenging than the previous one. But again, I wouldn't say it was hard. Uh, I am sure everyone can crack it. But uh, yeah, so it was uh, both rounds were very very energetic, and uh, I'm sure you'll have a very good time. The interviews. and then finally the that was a hr round in hr round there's nothing related to the technical aspects at all they'll just ask about your motivation to the company and all that and uh, it was it's, it was a very chill round so like you said that the difficulty of the rounds were easy so would you like to emphasize like what do you mean it was easy like would you put some more emphasis on the difficulty of the coding problems asked sure so um, yeah so when i said easy i really meant easy because uh, you don't have to no dynamic programming at all because i never had one question which involved dp in any way the closest thing um, like the most difficult thing i would say was actually involved recursion and one tree question so the tree question yeah as i said it was a direct bfs dfs one the recursion one if you know how to like uh, uh no just basic recursion in fact i don't know so yeah so if you can do that i'm i'm sure you'll be able to crack the round okay so hashtin is a dream company for a lot of people so what advice would you give to people how they should prepare so they can also crack hashtin so uh, first of all i would say hashtin by deloitte is one of the best companies uh, in india like in terms of work life balance it has been like rated uh, among the top like for uh, so many times and yeah we are also a part of deloitte so that can give you its own set of exposures like in its own set of benefits and um, so when if you ask me for an advice i would tell you this that is a, a very open uh, cultured company so you need to you know uh, be very interactive even within the organization mm -hmm. so that means even during the interviews you have to make sure uh, that you are very interactive and very you know energetic and um, through the interviews yeah just make sure you, you know think out loud make sure you convey to the interviewer what is actually going on in your mind So if you can do that, you know uh, you will be in their good books, and yeah. What about the <clears throat> preparation aspect of it? Like, what would you say is something that you should focus on while preparing? 
So yeah, so while preparing, I would say uh, in the first uh, coding round itself, you need to make sure uh, you are good in your uh, good, good with your coding skills, as in you know, writing the clean code and all. Mm. So no, I had this question which involved um, where basically in a string, A, Bs, and Cds should not be there, should not be there together. So uh, let's say as an example, let's say your string is C, A, B, and D. So you will remove the AB, which is like in the middle of the string. So okay. you'll be left with CD. Okay. So that CD is once again, uh, like should not be there. So you have to remove CD again, and you're left with a uh, empty string. So uh, so this is uh, so this was a question, and um, what I did was um, actually use the hash map. Okay. So. And should I span. should I get a pen and paper to follow along? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. I mean that's not necessary, but yeah, if you want. To. So okay. so yeah. So I used the stack and a hash map. So so there was a I, I used the stack and a hash map, and it might not be the most obvious solution, but uh, in fact that is I think that is the kind of thing which actually got me uh, through the coding round because uh, only few people made it past the coding round, which actually seemed very weird to me, given that so many people attended the coding round itself. But uh, very few people were selected for the interviews. Hmm. So I believe uh, this, like, you know, you know, the coding practice had a lot to do with, uh, you know, at that round. So, so what I, so what I mean was, mean is to make sure you are, you know, uh, quite good in that aspect. Okay. What about for technical rounds? What should be the preparation strategy? What should be the focus of preparation for playing the technical rounds? So for the technical rounds, uh, make sure your fundamentals are good mm -hmm. to begin with. And in the CS fundamentals, the basic parts, like uh, let's say for um, in computer networks, just make sure what you're very clear with what routing is, what we are very clear with what uh, server client is. Like, no, the most, actually I was asked very basic questions, mm -hmm. but uh, I was tested on my understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Like if I really know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's, it was the same with operating system. They asked me about process and threads and difference between them. You know, how you know, process is switched, how, like, why do we need threads and all that. So yeah, the questions themselves are very easy, but uh, they'll make sure you really know what you're talking about. So, and then, yeah, well, they actually look into your resume and they take uh, what's in your resume quite seriously. So make sure either you're thorough with uh, what what's what's on your resume or you make or you don't like mm. if you're not really sure about something just don't have it on your resume but yeah but your resume is really important throughout the interview okay so what about the dsa part you said that you were asked a tree question in the technical round right so what yeah. should be the preparation strategy for dsa would you say lead code solving lead code problems is enough for that yeah i would say pretty much yes like uh in lead code actually lead code easy would uh be like enough but I guess if uh, you're also like lead code medium level, then that would be uh, a plus. But I, but definitely you don't need lead code hard at all. I can tell you that much. And uh, yeah, coming specifically to the three question, as I said, it was D D uh, BFS or DFS only. If you know what BF and BFS and DFS is, you'll be able to solve it. It's it's not really that uh, much of a big deal. And uh, yeah. Okay, so to summarize, basically, the main thing to focus on for Haston is first writing clean code. So you should have good coding habits. And then, like you said, focusing on the computer science fundamentals, little bit of problem solving DSA. And like you said, the energy and interaction. So that's pretty much it to summarize it, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Um, so I would say, uh, yeah, I, I like to talk about the resume. So make sure your resume is actually, uh, you no, know, it covers like a broad range of uh, concepts, like as much as you can. So let's say you have like Java or at the same time React, like a uh, more, uh, no spread over, like more diverse your, uh, the technology, the tech stacks are, the better it would be. And uh, I would say, make sure you add Java and React. Like if you're good in Java and React, uh, that would be a plus because inside the company, we're actually using that. Mm -hmm. So that would be, um, you'd be favored upon with those two particular technologies. Okay. So I guess you pretty much covered everything that there was to cracking hash and like in details. So thanks a lot for coming on my channel and sharing your knowledge with me and my subscribers. I hope this will help a lot of people who are wanting to crack hash. So thanks a lot. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much.